Nice to have you with us. Will you take me home, please, Mr. Ludden? Advanced degree in hand, Han 
Khan's career reached new heights. She starred in and executive produced classics like Private Benjamin, for which she earned a Best Actress Oscar nomination. And I mean, look at this place. The Army couldn't afford drapes. I mean, I'll be up at the crack of dawn here. And 1987's Overboard, co-starring her real-life partner, Kurt Russell. And there may have been a spark in the movie three years ago. Maybe you'll well, what's in this? It seems to me you found your own power in producing the movies and taking some control oh, of the way you felt about a project, the way it looked on the screen. Um, I'm practical, so it was never the idea of wanting to have control. It was a decision uh, that was basically for me financial, and I didn't know why we needed to pay a big producer. I made movies about women that matter. It really is about regaining your own power, your personal power. But I, I will say maybe the best that I ever produced, the best thing, is Mind Up. I won't get an Academy Award for this script, but definitely it's going to work for kids. And then I said, okay, if it works for 10 children, I've done something good. And now there's millions. Focus on the importance of mental health and mental fitness for all of us. Khan founded Mind Up in 2003 as she began a 15-year break from acting in search of a new purpose. The organization has built a curriculum for kids, parents, and schools focusing on the mental health and fitness of children. I had a big pump in it. It was crazy. I mean, I thought, I want to create something that children can access and teachers all over the world because we need to build a kinder world, a world that actually has greater capacity for critical thinking. There's no time like now to have a solution. So we now are online. This is our big launch. It's exciting. It's lined up for life now. To date, the courses and now their digital companions have reached more than 7 million children around the world. We have all kinds of experts speaking on subjects that aren't necessarily just the curriculum, but they're on happiness, they are on wellness. We have a doctor speaking now on the heart and the mind and the brain and that connection. Let's do a brain break. Here's how it goes. Oh, find a comfortable place to sit. We have to get back to basics. We, we have to really know what makes us happy. One of our little children in mind up. I asked him, I said, so how do you use mind up? He said, well, one day my best friend pushed me and he said, I decided to, to take a brain break and I, I, I thought if I pushed him back, he wouldn't be my best friend anymore. So I didn't. And I thought, oh my God, that's good critical thinking. So it's, it, it's kind of giving tools, you know, for all of us to say, I am a human. You are a human. Our blood is the same color. Our heart beats the same way. Pawn has returned to acting in recent years, teaming up with Russell on screen again for a pair of popular Christmas movies. Well, we have over 300,000 shots here in the village. And each and every one designed by Mrs. Claus. You know, one of the things, Goldie, that's amazing about your career is You've got laughing over here that my mom watched you on, and you've got the Christmas <laughs> Chronicles over here that my kids love. I mean, talk about, <laughs> no, never thought talk about multi-generational <laughs> appeal. Correct. I know that's funny. I never thought of that, but that's true. I mean, how great is it to be able to do that? Oh my God, with Kurt? I mean, it's, it's amazing. And now we've got the little ones that come up to you. See, when the little ones come up to you and they look at you like they've seen a ghost, okay? You know, you're Mrs. Claus. And when is the next one coming? So they wait. You know, they're waiting for, you know, Christmas Chronicles 3. Oh, this is terrible, Goldie. Shape up. I try not to look back. You know, I just look ahead. It's just looking at the, the landscape of the love right? I say that looks, it looks pretty, pretty good. But listen, I grew up in the chorus, and that means you have to kick your leg as high as the road to the right. So I'm really chorus. <laughs> if you would like to learn more about Mind Up for your family or school, just head to mindup.org. Don't forget to subscribe to the Sunday Sit Down podcast to hear the full length interview with Goldie Hawn. You can find it on Apple Podcasts or wherever you get yours. And a special treat for you on this holiday weekend. Tomorrow, our streaming channel, Today All Day, is running a Sunday sit-down marathon 
with extended cuts of my conversations with Ed Sheeran, Michael B. Jordan, and many more. You can watch that at today.com. And next week, a new Sunday sit-down with two-time Academy Award winner Mahershala Ali on his rise to become one of Hollywood's very best actors and his extraordinary new movie, Swan Song, that will have him in the running for another one of those Oscars. Mahershala Ali, next week on Sunday Today. Let's turn now and get a quick... A national treasure. Her TV career of 80 years spanned longer than any others. The first lady of game shows. As Sue Ann Nivens, she was icky sweet to sweet perfection. As Rose Nyland, her terminal naivete was interminably hilarious. Ageless, tireless, she was a true icon and one of the most beloved entertainers of all time. Cozy TV remembers Betty White. I'm the master reptile.